The fascinating shapes and landscape of Kura Tawhiri near Arthur's Pass have forever drawn people here. First, early Māori came and made their mark, and then European settlers. There's been a long occupation and use of this place by Ngaitahu, Māmoi and Waitaho before them. As a food gathering area pre-European times, this place was covered in a totara forest and that provided habitat for kākāpō. Kākāpō were highly prized by um, high-ranking families and chiefs. The feathers and the skins used to adorn cloaks um, for high-ranking members of their family, particularly daughters. Poakai, or Harpagonis, the, the harst eagle, New Zealand's eagle, the last nest was said to have been on Tawera, Mount Torles, which is just behind us, perhaps a mile away. It's said that a guy called Ho Tere constructed a house and then wove a, a strong net and draped it over the rafters and lured the, the eagle, the last eagle, down. It sort of thrust its talons into the net, trying to reach um, the humans inside this house, and his warriors clubbed it to death. With the Runanga doing some of the planting, we get involved with that to show that we really um, care and we would like to continue our um, use of the area. I think they value um, climbers being here because we're here so often, we kind of look after the place in a way. So if someone's doing something inappropriate, um, marking the rock or something like that, we, we gently let them know that that's not appropriate. We wanted to create a natural representation of what was here and in order to do that we needed to heal the land. We thought it was appropriate to use traditional rungoa healing plants. Um, so we have hebes, caprosmas and carmichelias. Now hebes are synonymous with treating stomach problems. The young tips there, chewed and very effective for diarrhoea and dysentery. And if I was going to your place and I walked up to your front door and I saw a hebe, a koromiko growing by your front door, it would be telling me to eat some of this medicine before you come into my house because my hospitality is not that flash. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. We hey, and you'd be dead right. Yeah, yeah I'm a terrible cook. And so the idea is that we'll create a shrubland first and then under that we'll be able to plant and, and sow um, emergent podocarps and totaras and stuff like that and hopefully we'll get a nice habitat, we'll get some of our native birds coming back and it'll be a really funky place in about 100 years. In the 1940s when Christchurch had a bit of a dysentery outbreak and in fact they brought in the hebe to try and try and stem the flow if you like. <laughs> and in World War II the Māori Battalion actually had hebe sent over in care packages to try and uh, help them out with any dysentery outbreaks. Kura Tawhiri is a tōpuni site, which means it is an area of special significance to Māori. But being in an alpine environment, the weather can close in very quickly, so I'm going to get out of here while I still can. <laughs>